Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. And I'm back with another Marvel Legends figure review for you. And this is from the 2009 2 pack the uh, Scroll Soldier and Kree Soldier. It's very cool. Finally found these guys in Toys R Us. Been looking for them for a while and thought I was going to have to pick them up from a lame scalper online, but luckily found these guys in the stores. So, very cool. <clears throat> Got your standard 2 pack packaging here. Got some nice artwork. Scrolls there. And then for the curry. It's pretty nice. On the back you got a nice picture of both figures. And a little bio about the scrolls and curry and the, the war they've had against each other. Just a little bit of stats on the scrolls and some stats on the curry. Very cool. And made by Hasbro, of course. And I was lucky enough to find two of these guys. So, I'm um, not even going to open that one yet. But, uh, went ahead and took these guys out of the package. It's very cool. Uh, the Kree Soldier does come with a pistol, which I didn't even take the band off yet. But, uh, pretty plain, uh, pretty simple. But it works, you know, just a little handheld laser pistol and for the figure uh, he also comes with a this is the alternate head that it comes with it comes with the uh, regular skin tone color a white color as compared to the blue but I went ahead and switched to the blue looks very cool he does have a uh, a belt with a holster on it and the belt is removable it's got a little tab there that clicks out and the holster just has a little tab as well. You can put his pistol in there. It's pretty nice. And pretty basic body sculpt. Not, not too bad, but you know, really, just nothing too fancy. They at least put a little bit of uh, shaping into the feet on this guy. It's not just a big round wad of plastic. It at least looks like a foot, even though there's no detail on it. They at least went to a little bit of effort and, and molded it, which is nice. But uh, really cool, he's got a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, split at the upper bicep, double jointed elbows, and a ball jointed wrist. And he does have pre-molded hands as you can see, it's just a fist, can't move his knuckles or anything. And then the other one's his pistol hand, it's not much there. But uh, <clears throat> he has a little bit of torso movement and a swivel at the waist and then as you can see he's got the ball joint at the upper thigh and then the split which uh, allows for some nice articulation there and then he has the double jointed knees and a ball jointed foot so not too bad on articulation nothing too fancy but uh, when you compare him to the scroll he does not compare the, the scroll is really nice uh, first off, the arms I have him posed with are the alternate. He comes with <clears throat> these two arms. This is the left arm that he comes with. Which is really nice. Got this uh, translucent blue rock coming out of it, or crystal. This looks pretty sweet. Just all the nice little detail there cut into the stone of his arm, which looks really cool. And then it kind of goes up into a purple to match his uh, costume, which looks really nice. And same with the left hand, starts off a little purple, if you guys can see that. Not sure if the light's going to kind of fade that out, but... And then as it fades into the stone, looks pretty sweet. And uh, this hand is just molded into a fist, but this one is... He has some finger articulation so he can grab a hold of somebody or a weapon or something. But pretty cool. This one does not have any elbow movement. This one just has a single joint. So not too bad. Cool detail. But uh, first off on the scroll, I just want to say that uh, <clears throat> his uh, detail and body mold and everything is just really, really nice. I mean, I don't like to be biased. I like the Hasbro figures and everything, and this is Hasbro. But I have to say this looks like a Toy Biz mold just by... He's even got the uh, toe joints and just... Uh, he's got the finger articulation, which is just not standard for the Hasbro figures so I 
if I had to take a guess, I would say this is a Toy Biz mold. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, that's fine. But uh, just off uh, looks and everything, that's what I'd say. But it has a really nice uh, texture to it, as you can see that. Just all these like fiber lines going through it. This looks really cool. Really solid uh, black and purple. But uh, throughout the purple, it's got some like pink that kind of lightens it up and looks kind of cool. See his face there. Pretty nicely detailed. Cool ears and everything. Got some like red and a little bit of yellow it looks like up in his eyes. It's very cool. He has a ball jointed head. A ball jointed shoulder with the split in the bicep. Double jointed elbows. And he, uh, the wrist turns at the beginning of the glove. And then the hand goes back and forth and the knuckles go back and forth as well. So you can make a, a fist or just kind of a, a punching chop kind of thing. And same articulation in the other hand, but his hand, his fingers are straightened out so he can hold a weapon or something. Which looks pretty cool. And he has a nice torso joint that goes up and down pretty well. And a swivel in the waist. As you can see, he's got ball jointed thighs with the split. Double jointed knees. And turn at the upper boot. And then the foot does have the side to side pivot, which is really nice. And then, of course, the toe joint. And, of course, it goes back and forward. So, a lot of articulation on this guy. Very cool. Uh, the, the Cree is, you know, by no means disappointing, but... It definitely is a, a little little shy of detail compared to the, the scroll. So definitely out of this two pack I like the scroll better, but you know you gotta have those Cree too, so very cool. So uh scroll and Cree two pack. Thanks for checking them out.